Well, hello, everybody, and happy Monday. Happy Monday. Mm. Indeed. Yeah, happy. yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. Mm. Mo- okay. Hello, everybody, <laughs> and Monday, and Monday indeed. We are here for Mass Effect Andromeda. Alex Navarro, how are you? I'm having a Monday. Oh, you immediately <laughs> went Very out of slowly. Sync. He's having a you boy. I you are having, having a Monday. Monday see? How, how did you immediately? Wow, that's just fun. That is just it just happens. Brad Shoemaker, can, how are you? Can you show them those stats? Is it time to bring the people in? Oh, uh, I don't know if I can yeah, Do they like, need I, to know. I have to like recursively capture that window. I don't know if I could um I don't know if I could do that. It's Let's find out how many frames behind he is. It's weird because in the and when we were leading up to this, you are fine, and then immediately coming. As soon as you hit the button. It's like hundreds it's like, to thousands of frames behind. It's 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 wild. It's the laggy lag. Well, I blame the internet. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, well, not my we're, internet, just the internet. Hey, the Pathfinder waits for no man. Okay. Yeah. Me, Eventually my connection I, will pathfind its way to where it needs to be. Let me see if I could do the thing I did last time. Try this and then this. Okay. All right. While we do that, let's find our way over to Mass Effect Andromeda. Okay. Did I fix it? No. There we go. No. Did there's not. no fixing me. Just like there's, there's no fixing Mass Effect Andromeda. Nice. We got Patch Alex. Mm-hmm. Alex, why don't you take us in? So Alex. last week. Go ahead. Yes, Brad. Oh, go ahead. Okay. Well, last week uh, we did our first planetary mission. We went through our first uh, space dungeon and. Uh, now we're back on our ship, and we talked to a couple people last time, but we got other crew members to talk to, so why don't we go ahead? Oh, right. Yeah. Right. Right. Gonna, gonna talk to the crew. You like talking to people, right? I sure do. We went to my room. And we talked. Yeah. And we talked. We went to your room, and we talked, and we talked. We talked to our Krogan talked buddy. More. We talked to the... We we've hit, we've, everyone we've hit on so far has brutally rejected us. What? I don't remember seeing that uh, just that raw building shaders number ever. <laughs> Is oh, that yeah. new? No, it does that. It does that. Oh, okay. Just so gonna, new. I'm going to let you know how the shader progress is doing. How's my shader cache? Look, this game is not optimized shader. for the PS5, you know? Oh, look at this sick new jacket you got on. I forgot. Yeah, I remember I put this on. I got this hoodie yeah. jacket. Yeah, I remember that. I don't think I have any emails, but I'm just going to look again. Hmm. That vault. Right there. Yeah, this is all old email. I talked to Sam. Oh, that's right. right. Yes, we need to commune with our robot buddy. Let's commune with our robot buddy. Sam, any more information on the memory trigger we found? The memory blocks are still in place. If you continue searching for more triggers, they may unlock. Do you think if this had moved into the trilogy status that they surely wanted it to be, the third game would have ended with Sam getting a hunky robot body? Mm. Oh, gosh, I hope. Are you still on the I don't think it would be hunky. Yes. I'm thinking this more like provides a direct link to my service in Sam Node on like the Niles. I can you know, presence on the Tempest. Really, Wait, you're going David Hyde Pierce? Yeah. Wait, that that Niles? Yeah. Let's say robot hypothetically, Niles. I was out mm-hmm. sick the day uh, they taught quantum. Okay. okay. Uh, um, uh, embezzlement communism. Fire entangled. Again, uh, whatever whatever uh, answer uh, seems uh, like the most stoned answer possible, that is the one I will pick. Distances. It ensures I remain in touch with you. And the I think they would have gone full himbo. Times. I think they would have just made him like the hunkiest <laughs> robot possible. What was Dad's take on Scott and I? He believed your family trials brought you closer together. Uh, and Scott and me, please. Endure. It mm-hmm. appears that hope was well founded. Where is Scott? Oh, yeah, right. Scott's still in his tube. Is it confusing to be in multiple places talking to different people? My awareness can be partitioned, so I can give. Yeah, you how many frame threads does it take for you to talk to me right now? In the field, you are my primary focus, and all other requests are queued. In the vernacular, you have my undivided attention. Oh, don't worry. There's nobody else but you. Oh. So if we're going to work together, you might notice I like to joke around sometimes. Lighten things up. <laughs> How's your sense of humor? Too? I'm a real I'm kidder. Mm-hmm. Hey, I enjoy it. Humor? <laughs> Humor's not a skill. It's... Okay, try telling me a joke. A neutron enters a bar and asks, how much is a drink? 
the bartender replies. For you, no charge. I can see why Dad told you to keep working on your humor. No, no, Ryder, you say keep at More him. Humor. Keep at him. Humor. Coming, keep, Sam. keep at him. Keep at him. Eat comedians. Pretty good, because Sam, but keep at him. Ugh. Ryder's a doof. How are those jokes coming, mm -hmm. Sam? My algorithms are formulating a new one, calculating the trajectory of the punchline. <laughs> <sighs> that was not a joke. <clears throat> oh. Time to right. log off. Thank you. Humor more up. humor, yeah. He's still got no, more, more, more in the humor tree. The next time I come back, I will make sure he tells another three jokes, oh, and then we will, you, we will get at least a few jokes every time we talk to him. Are you wearing gloves? That's my promise. Uh, it looks like it. Yeah, yeah. Right. it's like a space motorcycle. Space. Yeah. Ooh. All right. I, I bet the ship is cold as hell. <laughs> I bet it's drafty as hell in the ship. I would I hope, believe that. I hope it's not drafty. Like somebody left a window open, but I hope I would assume cold. Do you think like the the air conditioner is just pumping constantly, cycling air? Space toilet. It's very Wait. low. Is there is there really only one toilet for the whole ship? <laughs> kind of seems like at least for this area. Wait, you have, yeah. You not you don't even have your own toilet in the cabin's quarters. <laughs> you know I didn't notice one. Hmm. Ship is fucked. Why do you think Ryder has that shit eating grin? Ew. Is she the loathsome dung eater? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. It's a little uh, Elden yeah. Ring humor for nice. everyone out there. Good. Timely. Mm. Y'all play any more of that? I did not. I switched back to Horizon as predicted, as foretold. Yeah, I was really torn which way to go with that. Ooh. I talked to her already. I think you I, did. I, ended up on, I yes, did. She's the doctor. Is, That's this right. This this is Natalie Dorner, right? I'll let you get back to it. I'll be here if you need me. Yes, I think that is correct. All right, let's go upstairs. I think I've done everything I can do down here. Now, how do I do that is the question. What is Look above you? Like some kind of... What are you trying to do? Just trying to figure out where the next uh, set of people are to talk to. You just want to talk to people? Yeah. There's only a couple uh, more to do. I think Petra and Liam are the only two I haven't talked to. Well, those are those are party members. You can also talk to the people in the cockpit. Yeah, if you want to, if you want to get to know the incidental characters, yeah. which I'm sure you do. <laughs> All right, here's what I'm gonna do. It's I'm gonna go to the back. I'm gonna talk to them, and then I'm gonna go to the cockpit. I've clocked about thirty hours in Horizon so far. I'm, uh, I'm uh, a lot of icons on that map. Oh boy. I heard uh, the the story mission hey, after the story, story mission that we all did. There's like more stuff popping off. Is that accurate? Yes. Okay. It's, yes. It's, it's it's keeping me going. I'm I'm I'm. Oh, in. hey, Pathfinder. Okay. The Pathfinder. Oh, Pathfinder. There? Let me say hi. Sid. Fine, but don't embarrass me. Wait, Ryder, Sid? This is Sid, my sister. Sid oh, Ryder. Right. Yes. Let me guess. A little sister. Who are you calling little? Look, look how up. cool Get Ryder up. is. Wait, Ryder. Yeah, man. Look at that. Yeah. Look at that Pathfinder's lean. Yeah. So I know it feels like I just jumped aboard your ship without explanation. Now's as good a time as any. I think... No. I know that I can be of use here. I know everyone on the crew. Even the actuators Gil prefers for the ship. Better, I know how to get my hands on them. With me around, your crew's going to be at their best. We've been you want to turn your hollow lens fighter. off while we talk? Yeah. Now that we have you, it's we have a chance out here. You're intense. I like it. <laughs> wow, that's some laser focus. Yeah? Was it too much? Some people get intimidated. I'm not just some people. I really like the intensity. Ugh. That's mm. good. It's nice to feel mm. appreciated. Ooh, turning it up. I should track down a lead for Gil's Finally, actuators. someone didn't Back brutally down. reject me. <laughs> I, meant, I meant to fact check this, we'll and I later. forgot. I will check later, but I think... Quote me on this that you can actually just romance everyone in this game, like without oh, consequence. Gonna. Like, yes, it is not. It's not the trilogy thing of you have to pick one person and that's it. I think you can just get it on with everyone. Wells, life destroying murder hey, man. bubbles. I think that's right. <laughs> we really had no they know their idea audience, what okay. was about. Did we? We're talking about um. <laughs> there's a, there's galaxy about, rules, right? It's like uh, mm -hmm. out of the galaxy, you can do whatever you want. You know, everyone Nobody's hates moving. Happens on the tempest soon. Point taken. I'm just saying. I really hope you have a plan, Ryder. 
<laughs> Just saying. It's a plan. Like you said, we had no idea what Helios was really like. What good's a plan? Adapting to problems as they come up. I like that. Good, since you're probably going to have front row seats to me winging it. Looking forward to the show. You talked about your back channels. What did you mean? Sex. You brought a lot from home. Some of it. <laughs> I talked about my back channels. Back channels. Mm -hmm. See, Most those kinds want, of channels. Someone's got. You just have to figure out who, and what they're willing to take in exchange. It can't be that simple. Oh, but it is. Most things are simple once you know the trick to them. What's the, what's the map in what's the famous map in Doom? E one M one. You were yeah, that's on the, the first level. When the revolt happened. Okay. When you Keep an eye on that screen on the back. The, for the, for the base. Mm -hmm. They riot. Does that thing? Is this just the to Tempest home, Run Doom? Some demanded answers. I don't know. And a couple just wanted to stir I saw a base E one. Now I want to see if there's a base M one. Some days I wondered if the exiles had a point. There's an M six. to come in here. But why would the initiative go to all this trouble just to screw us over? Thing about conning people, you always know something they don't, and that's why the con works. And if I'm going to pick a side, I'm picking the lion. Mm. 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 How did you hear of the Andromeda Initiative? Short answer, Cash. She was looking for some experimental ship mods, and I knew how to track them down. I thought it was a one-time deal, but she came back once, twice. Do you and think she can see through my clothes with that on? on? Something big. She's, She's just playing behind it. She's just playing Minecraft. I asked, and she told me about the mm. initiative. New galaxy. They finally got home. it out right before, right up. before they left the AR Minecraft. Have anyone else here with you besides Sid? No, just me and Sid. It's always been just the two of us. No, I mean, someone special. Special? Oh, you mean like... Oh. 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 <laughs> no, nothing like that. Who has time? What about you? Anywhere's gonna feel empty if you don't have someone to share it with. Oh my gosh, you're the a worst romantic. writer. I wasn't expecting mm -hmm. that. And again, Look, it wasn't meant, meant to be management, all right? Something new is kind of romantic. Oh, anyway. Yeah. You um, look, probably the, have work to do. The, the, the HR arc hasn't gotten here yet, okay? You know mm -hmm. yeah, they got lost. <laughs> HR and payroll, they're still coming. It's the oh, lift. Be it's the store. Someone is moving stuff. Pathfinder, help me with Whoa, something. your head. I know what is something is happening with <laughs> face. Oh no. <laughs> You've got Plus, space madness. The charge from an overclocked omni blade. Not giving up a 6% boost, right? Right, right. What? <laughs> Never mind. BS right? for the <laughs> So, finally time for that beer? And after two years and a dozen suspensions, I took a Damn, that was a large of beer. Course. Being a cop just didn't fit. The crisis response? Digging people out of trouble? That worked. I bet Hustle followed you into a few piece actions. Think about your alliance days much? Tell me about your group. Heavy urban search terrain one. Oh, you mean Hustle? Contribution uh, mm -hmm. to the multi species disaster response unit. Oh, you mean, oh, you mean Hust one? <laughs> just hey, out here, one, hustling. But... Oh. Are much better on the patch. Oh, there you go. All civilians, retired vets, bullshit like me. I was fiercely feared. What? What? Why is it a, oh, a square top? About those days. A drinking animation. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, doesn't, doesn't exist. Chase the cutting edge of Prothean research. I thought I'd found my calling. Seems like a long time ago. Six hundred years, give or take. So, Pathfinder. Why Andromeda? That blunt, huh? Oh, you got that blunt? That <laughs> that blunt. That blunt. I like blunt. Got that blunt. Drink. I'm looking for more like this with people like you. <laughs> you don't know me. Not important. Still an The more I know about you, the less likely this is to happen. So. <laughs> Back at you, Costa. Why do you come? I want to say I'm running from my past, but really running from myself. That'd be a great story. But it's bullshit. I had family, friends, a good enough job, nothing was wrong. I just heard about the initiative and... I believed in it. I believed in a new beginning. Still do. Smile. I have to. <laughs> we're in it. We can't go back, but we're not trapped by decisions a galaxy behind us. I don't feel trapped. We came from a good place for good reasons. We keep that in mind or steer us right, just like back in Crisis Response. Remember the essentials. 
A new start guided by the Pathfinder. And team. I'll bust my tail to make that a good story. Sick. Well, good drinking with you. <laughs> drinking out of a square mouth. Doesn't look bottle. comfortable. No. Podromos. Prodromos. Sounds Are we just good, saying syllables it? now? <laughs> you started, Pathfinder. A new life. That is goddamn brilliant. You barely covered how you joined. Tell me something about yourself. <laughs> Wait, didn't you just cover right. that? <laughs> I was a bad student, pitch poor cop, great responder. Had a good life, but it all been done. I wasn't looking to start over. I wanted to start big. You were a cop, then crisis response? Couldn't have been long in either. Didn't have the patience for law, so I figured enforcement. Dad knew it didn't fit before I did. But it got me into hustle. <laughs> there I it is. Take vets and retired mm -hmm. service. Best years of my life. An impatient rookie, frustrated by procedure. That's overdone. I know, right? <laughs> I wanted new, and I got it. Commenting on the cliche you wrote for your game does not make it not a cliche. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me about your family. I miss the hell out of them. Some nights you just cry, right? That's the thing everyone does. Mom, Joel. No, Dad, not Calvin, me. Never no. cried. Lawyers. I think actually, on the system, Liam. Settled on Earth. No my dad's dead. My brother's Dad. in a tube. Do you see any tears here? No. Too much to leave. We don't actually even mention my mom. How about you? She she passed away a while ago. Mm -hmm. Traditional is a weird term for family, like normal. Who's that describe? I suppose you're right. I sure didn't keep to tradition. I said goodbye to my mom and dad, and got on a ship to Andromeda. I mean, I you, you think it, we'll talk later. You think it makes it any easier know knowing it. that like they died like 500 plus years ago? Like maybe a little. Yes. <laughs> Just wondering what you think of how I'm doing at the job. I'm committed to the initiative. Your Pathfinder. It's a simple Head empty. No thoughts. <laughs> <laughs> I'm interested in you. Dispense Just orders, please. Mm -hmm. Not much. Just showing some interest. You okay. wonderful yeah. idiot. <laughs> <laughs> Bad uh. opening Pathfinder. <laughs> You're better than that. Yes, well, screw it. I'm owning it. See, I knew it. <laughs> All right, interest returned. Let's bank that for another day. <laughs> we'll talk later. Mm -hmm. we uh, have I'm warm for your form. It took a second for that to sink in. Did he literally just say interest returned? <laughs> yes, he did. Romantic feelings reciprocated. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's some real fucking commander data shit. We'll talk later because we have to because I'm your boss. Yeah, because I'm the pathfinder. But not, for like, but not for like two more story missions, maybe three before I get yeah. that one. Yeah. Check in with me after a set amount of time and a flag maybe has been checked on the back end do you have like a loyalty thing i could do for you <laughs> maybe possibly Ryder, when you've got a minute stop oh i was already there earlier <laughs> <laughs> yeah. there's before you before you do that might push the story along there's those people in the cockpit also to talk to that's Where's up you? here you right the, you want to you want to go meet the token sci-fi religious person you know, oh it's somebody, you. It's somebody not joker who wears their, Somebody who wears their religious belief on their we haven't sleeve really spoken since on the spaceship. Have we? It's all been so hectic, but I'm sure things will quiet Suvi and Kahlo. Can't be worse than the Nexus. This yeah. is a Let's start. cool cockpit. It's a, it's a cool cockpit. Yeah. It's quite a view. So some nice picture windows. Yeah. Scans of the Scourge. All that dark energy twisting and turning on itself. It's splendid. I suppose it is a rather darkly beautiful Just phenomenon. like me. <laughs> darkly beautiful. I like that. You make those Helios words up? is incredible, isn't it? Not just constructs like the Scourge and the Remnant Vaults. Just all of it. So alien. A constant reminder of the divine intelligence behind all creation. Uh. There we go. You mean a god? Yes. I believe in a higher power. I know it's a little odd, but I am a scientist because science brings me closer to something. So you're a Christian myself. scientist. Okay. <laughs> hmm. The two Ooh. options. <laughs> this is quite a choice. Yeah. There's nothing about the universe that suggests a divine Oof. intelligence. 
And most Hostile of what we've seen in Helios is artificial, as you said yourself. Yes, but we're creative beings. Whoever made the remnant was too. Why should that be proof against Well, you've convinced me. I'm in. Wouldn't Do you have any literature? Wouldn't creator want to pass on the draft <laughs> in bed? I know I seem dismissive at first, but you have an interesting take on faith and <laughs> Listen, I didn't want to blow my chances really here. I'd really like to pick your brain Can on that sometime. Reset this back? Reset Nexus? hug? I, uh, I, know, I know I just disrespected your I most dearly held beliefs, but no, you want to have a dream? Finish the team with my latest reports. We'll talk later. No, we'll talk now. <laughs> I saw pictures of the vault. <laughs> Astounding how big it is. And how much of it did Tell me about see? the big vault. <laughs> what if it's way bigger? Parties! What's all that space for? Mm -hmm. Wild remnant parties? What else would you use it for? I'm pretty funny. Oh, writer, oh you. I know. You I, like, I, I like you. <laughs> I take it you work closely with the Nexus Science team? I try to keep in contact with them. We discuss anything and everything we discover out here. After all, many brains are better than one, and Dr. Aridana is worth two or three at least. I work best when I have other people to bounce ideas off of. I'm still fuzzy about how we managed to see Andromeda all the way from home. It confused me too. I mean, the light lag would have made any data two million years out of date. So I asked Dr. Aridana, and she told me, well, it wasn't her tech that did it. It was the Geths. You're kidding. Those killer robots we have. Hey, hey, there's <laughs> new ones. Robot there. ones. <laughs> the initiative obtained data from an array in deep space, a Geth construct. According to Aridana, the Geth rebuilt a mass relay and turned the approach corridor into an FTL sensor. FTL sensor. So a faster than light telescope? They could survey Andromeda as it was? Not exactly, but it cut down the lag by. Well, apparently enough. not enough because yeah. our data know was somewhat out of date. We're interested in observing beyond the galaxy, though. Maybe we'll never know. Did my dad know about this? Why didn't he tell me? It's possible he didn't know. The Geth are isolationists. Again, and hostile. like <laughs> out using of date. info, even obtaining it in the first place, probably crossed a lot of boundaries. Yeah, where did that end up? There's like what do you know actually about two Geth factions, right? Network. There's like. Friendly Geth and tell, like Splinter Asshole Geth. I think, I think it depends, right? right? I think you give you an option how to yeah. deal with I think, the Splinter Geth as well. There's even evidence that it can propagate life. Well, there's like a Geth there's faction that like worship the option. Well, they like worship the Reapers, right? I think you could shut them down if you want. Uh, yeah. 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 What do you know about the Scourge? We established that it's artificial. Someone put it there. Or they did something that caused its creation. We don't know why. That's still a mystery. When did you start believing in a god? My parents it's were the flow of this conversation. My home was ruled by rationality. Ow. So when I became a teenager, let's just say that while other kids found Batarian music, I found God. But your work as a scientist convinced me even more, especially when I got into molecular biology, physics. The patterns I kept seeing over and over again. They were like an artist's watermarks. God, to me, is an artist. An inventor. Not someone checking to see if a Yeah, that's a teeth. dentist. I like you. I like you. I li I'm really I like glad you. you volunteered to join our crew, by the way. I am too. New galaxy and all. I'm no, honored to I mean you. you're no, no. cute. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean... I think you're cute and I like seeing you up here. Oh my gosh, she's... Writer. You're also, my boss. The accent. The accent She's got is, visions of I that mean, old Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer but, special. Uh, she said, I'm cute. Okay, I should just <laughs> go over there to the piloting thing. Kill. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> right. We have our first genuine laugh in I'm this game. No. All right, that was the not bad. Mutual. Yes. I mean, time to pass find. Serious business. <laughs> Saving everyone. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Uh, now go so, flirt with Kahlo. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> Kahlo's not so bad, at least. I like you, too. Glad you stopped by. You'll pardon me if I keep an eye on our vector. Well, I tell this man yeah, I am warm for his form. <laughs> ah, nothing like being on the bridge of your very own ship, is there? You mentioned something about helping design the Tempest? Test pilot, mostly. Plunging through the Nemean Abyss was almost a preparation for the Scourge. Of course, it took a whole team to build the Tempest. I was the only one to come to Helios, though. Why did you? What can I say? We poured our hearts into a ship that wouldn't realize her potential Speaking until Andromeda. Speaking of hearts... I could have stood on the shore and waved goodbye, 
or took the leap to see how it all turned out. I get it. Like leaving out Ooh. 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 Romance, please. The team liked that one of us was going. It's getting hot it in felt here. right mm. after all we went through. I remember Serena debugging line 2281 over and over, chewing that green pencil. Tion and O'Connell arguing equations, tapping on the console, three drips of coffee on the corner. You remember what? all that? Hmm? Oh, yes. Salarians have photographic memories, and apparently mine's unusually sharp. Like my past is still happening. Though I suppose with the Salarian arc missing, you might not get many chances to compare. Did you hear anything about the arc back on the Nexus? Not a peep. Isn't that strange? You'd think there'd be something. Oh. Not that I dislike your company, but it's lonely without other Salarians. Cheer up, Callow. We'll always have Director Tan. That snide little bureaucrat? All the more reason to find Damn. Him. I <laughs> should get back to it, but thank you. Wait, I was we're afraid not gonna the flirt? would be mothballed after we lost your father. Yeah, wait, I'm worried for you. She deserves to be in a Pathfinder's hands. Please, come by any time. Wait, oh, I'm not oh, done yeah. flirting with do you. For you? Mm. I swear I saw If you helped to build the Tempest, you must know plenty about her. I don't think it, I don't Just think that option's come up yet for him. By memory, it was quite the effort to get her working. The initiative needed absolutely up to date technology, all right, I should probably do which we all here. had to coordinate, and some of it was right out who, all, who all is responsible. Acquire, yeah, by legally and above board, of course. I also want to confirm that you can romance <laughs> yes. as many as you want. Sadly, the other Pathfinder vessels were. Here's the thing: even if I can't, don't care. Gonna. The <laughs> is truly unique. I think Tell actually it might be like ship. some characters don't Her care if you based on the arc's mm -hmm. Odyssey mm -hmm. drive, time them, others do, or something like that. The well, we'll see how it goes. The electricity it generates and stores it in capacitors. We basically make our own power supply. Mm. It took Serena and Tion weeks to get it working on a smaller ship. And a few electrical shocks. You know, I haven't actually met many Solarians. Careful. Depending who you ask, we're conniving spies, genius researchers, or meddling scientists. We have to pack a lot of living into 40-odd years. Everything gets accelerated. Lines blur. I just hope we don't repeat our old mistakes out here. What do you think of the rest of the crew? Well, I can't talk about Suvi. She's <laughs> sitting right there. I'm not listening. You can say whatever you like. Oh, no. I'm not falling for that again. What do you think of the rest of the crew? I'll admit it. Gil's rather irritating. He insists on redesigning systems rather than maintaining them. He likes to do things his way. So you aren't listening. Mm, that doesn't make it the mm -hmm. right way. She can't be trusted. What do you think of the rest of the crew? <laughs> Liam's quite fun. Not many humans have that kind of energy. I probably shouldn't have told him there are secret compartments in the armory, though. He's been looking all day. Oh, you troublemaker. What do you think of the rest of the crew? Oh my gosh. Dr. Just mm -hmm. two nice more, two or three recordings. It must be very different here compared to the Hyperion. Fewer people in stasis shock. Let's keep it that way. What do you think of the rest of the crew? Given Drax's history with Salarians, it's probably better I just stay out of his way. Too bad. That grunion roast he makes smells delicious. What do you think of the rest of the crew? I like PB. But I really hope she doesn't lean on the escape pod's manual release by accident. Is that easy to do? It's an escape pod. If it's difficult to use, you're doing it wrong. What do you think of the rest of the crew? I hate it. Vetra's very kind. She actually got hold of some dried seaweed snacks. Oh, I for love me. dried seaweed. Said I needed mm. heating up. What do you think of the rest <sighs> of the crew? I don't talk to Cora much. She you know what's cool about dried seaweed? It can it there can become wet like seaweed again whenever you want. But it sure. seems like a good time. What do you think of the rest of the crew? <laughs> no, <laughs> if I gossip any more, I'll get in trouble. <laughs> Tell me something else about the ship. <laughs> Our aerospace engineer was Tian Ada Vasmore, a Quarian fellow, and absolutely fearless. Once, some Omega scrap dealer pulled the we don't sell to Quarians nonsense, Tian found a workaround. What Sounds did he menacing. Do? He glued a memory foam to his environmental suit, then, during the negotiations, leaned against the drive core he wanted, very casual. It made a perfect mold of the components, and the scrap dealer was none the wiser. Great, I gotta go. What do you think of the rest of the crew? <laughs> you know where I'll be. Well, we learned uh, more than I wanted to. I 
That's probably the airlock, I would assume. Space yourself. Yeah, yeah, still the answer. You're setting up in here. Just put huh? an end to it all. Yeah, I'm going through what we got out of that vault. If I can crack this data storage box, it'll help with a personal project back on the Nexus. This is a nice, out of the way place where I can tinker, and I can sleep anywhere. It's not exactly homey, but I like that about it. Not really looking for a home. Oh, but I will help you find everyone a home. While I'm with you, at least. Does your brain ever take a breath? <laughs> Sorry, not really. Even my dreams are in time lapse. I get it. You want to know who's on your ship, so you're here to figure out what makes me tick, yes. right? Yes. Here, romance like everyone. That? Sure. Well, I was born in a log cabin on rural Haitiana to simple but loving parents, just trying to. I look forward, not back, writer. Why snooze through my life story? Get to know me out in the field. While we're uncovering That's not the how this works, lady. I have these dialogue That's options. I'm <laughs> going to use them. I'm tired of yawning back home. Tackling complete strangers in the Milky Way wasn't doing it for you? I think tackling you anywhere would be fun. Boom. Ooh, that out loud? Finally got a bite. Life won't be boring <laughs> with you around. I may never yawn again. Maybe you just needed more sleep. We were out for 600 years. A special someone made the trip with me, and she woke up a different person. I've slept enough. Rather, huh? The that Milky sucks. So <laughs> yeah. There, Jeez, really that. just glossing over that. <laughs> Even if I hadn't done it, someone had. If there's one thing you should know about me, it's that I live for the unknown. Oh. For the never been done. Oh, you're a rebel. Mmm. Wow. Well, congratulate yourself. No one has ever so successfully dodged my attempts to get to know them. Yes! I'm number one! Mmm. Buy mm. me a drink sometime. Who knows what will You might be the mind. only one I don't romance. <laughs> I need remnant scrap. Remnant Fives are off. Mm. For projects like the one I mentioned, which may not surprise you to find out that she is one of the Promise to bring no strings attached romance options. Mm. Remtech, huh? A fling, it. if the mm. wiki is to be believed. I'm back at work. Look at me working. Look at me. <laughs> I'm working. You again. Want to hear more about my childhood? Yes, I do. Cabin? You really won't tell me what you're working on? That's right. Next question. What was it like for you on the Nexus? Well, I wasn't supposed to be woken up yet. A resourceful accomplice finagled my early thaw. <laughs> so I kind of lived off the grid. Snuck around, bullshitted my way onto excursions off station. After I found my first remnant ruin, I started, uh, borrowing mm. shuttles. After that, I didn't spend much time on the Nexus. I even missed most of the revolt. So, how do you like the team? Interesting bunch. I get a good feeling from Vetra, not your typical military-minded Turian. Liam seems a lively one. I expect he'll surprise me. Drek is, well, old. Wonder if he can still learn new tricks. What about Gil smacks of complication? Might take some unraveling. Thank you for Cal like not making me do all these dialogue <laughs> options. Okay, I appreciate I'll that. Work, work, work. <sighs> Who's left? Well, there's. Oh right, Cora. What's her deal? Is she as prim and proper as she comes across? Oh, is it my turn to talk? <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, I should work on my motor. You might find that people reveal themselves more freely if you give them a chance. Cora included. Really it's good. Dialogue advice. cops. There's also Lexi, mm -hmm. our doctor. She's an Asari. This conversation oh, is a crime. To her. Mm. All in all, seems like a decent bunch. Flirting. <laughs> what do you mm -hmm. I will get there. Are you kidding? It's evidence of a sophisticated species no one knows anything about. It doesn't get more intriguing than that. There's so much to discover. I want to be the first to figure them out. And the tech, it's on a different scale. Oh, the scale. tech, the tech. If you can appropriate it, <laughs> who knows what advances we'll make. You mentioned you came to Andromeda with someone. Nothing gets by you. Guess that's No, why you literally just said it two minutes ago. Just a friend. The one who woke me up early. But now she's not even that. It's better to venture into the unknown without restraints or entanglements. Than it's popping up out there, huh? Yeah, apparently. Yeah. Really. <laughs> exactly. I don't want anything holding me back. What does someone have to do to get you to flirt with them? <laughs> Walk in the all. room? Yeah. But I get a little extra jolt when I'm matched wink for wink. So just be yourself and flirt. Okay. You're off the hook, PB. 
Good luck with your project. Thanks. Don't be a stranger. Well, that was okay. enlightening. He turned around and see what PB was doing back there. She was having a weird animation when she was working. Okay, nothing now. All right, just staring out into the toilets. That was on the other side of that thing. I think that's. I, I, I think that's an escape. I think it's an escape pod. Oh, I'm gonna go right. say to the doctor, and then I'm gonna go do the main objective. Have you crafted yet? I don't know. I mean, maybe you can't. I'm not sure. Clean air, plants. I forgot. Touch I haven't talked to this person either. Where are my drugs? On your mind. My drugs. Oh, there's that Pathfinder lean oh, again. Maybe. What the hell was that? I know that look. It's just my biotics reacting to... Really menacing this. music. <laughs> I don't normally lose it like that. A huntress should have better control. Huntress? Another term for an Asari commando. I was one before the initiative. Some things stick, though. Like losing the old man. How does a human soldier get to serve with Asari? Prove your biotics can rip an APC apart, and people get nervous. Funny that. The Alliance found me a cross-species military initiative in a hurry. Sent me to Thessia to serve with a Huntress unit. One of the few places where my powers were welcomed. Your father made another one. Is there is there an un undercurrent of like people don't trust biotics a little bit? He was I can't remember. More a mentor like, was that a thing a in the trilogy? Prickly old I feel like I remember something to that effect. Yeah, it. but like, like it wasn't really people treat heavily like pushed. Cut glass. There was there was a lot of um, was. like some superstition or something. There was some sadness for that the early biotics because they got those bad implants. Like Caden, remember mm -hmm. they they're like it's kind of like terrible. I know it's not the same, but yeah. I'm a good listener. I hope you're as good well. Like there's the stuff with Jack, where obviously like people were I using biotics in like pretty fucked up ways. Then he chooses you. An untrained pathfinder and all this mess to fix? The hell was Ooh. he thinking? Is this going to be a problem, Cora? Yes, I it's a problem. Rival. Just answers. It, it's done. Best I can do now is be your second. Keep your father's mission alive. Then maybe we'll all get what we came out here for. We'll be good together. You, me, side by side? Huh? I like the sound of that. Huh? A commando friend said something like that once. I explained I wasn't into women, however admirable they might be. So, so I said I'd still take a bullet for her. We okay, well, as long as you'll take a bullet, that's yeah, all that really matters. Look, there's still the mission. Still needs a to romance you. I gotta go through mm -hmm. all these so options. So what brought you out to Andromeda? Biotics like this. Thinking like an Asari huntress. I never had a place. Best I could be was a useful freak. The initiative was meant to be different. I'm looking for a useful freak. It will be different <laughs> if this mission succeeds. So I'm seeing it through. It's quiet in here. I can keep the plants watered while I work. First job, see if there's any news on the Asari Ark. If they made it, we could use some Asari expertise. If you want to talk, I'll be here. Okay. Uh, ooh, suddenly a first person game. All right, it was the doctor who wanted to talk to me. Doctor? Doctor? No, wait, no, that's not here. That is through here and down. Learning the layout of the ship. This is this is the engineering bay. Doctor is back across the Well, she's the other downstairs, side though. Oh, sure. I think this is the fastest way downstairs. <laughs> Whoa, that's, yeah, that's pretty quick. Should just drive that vehicle through there. Yeah. Yeah, there she is. She's back here. Doctor? No. Whoa. <laughs> no, you, you called me. <laughs> uh, I'll let you get back to it. I'll be okay. here if you need me. Didn't you call me? She sure did. Is there something in here to interact with maybe that might start a conversation? Hmm. Maybe she will reconstruct reset mm. data pad. Maybe she wants to see you, but see you in a different uh, room. Yeah. You've got this. Um, you know what? That's weird. She totally did say, hey, come see me. You know, fuck it. I'm just going to go to the objective. Oh, 
No ladders. Mm hmm. <sighs> you, mean to, you mean to tell me the future hasn't solved ladders yet? <laughs> when was the last time either of you have climbed more than like six steps on a ladder? Uh, last year sometime. Last year? Okay. Yeah. I, uh, the fiber for my internet mm -hmm. comes, it's like right outside this window here. Okay. Uh, and then the installation dude did not secure it when he installed Ooh. it. It was just kind of flapping in the breeze. So I had to climb up the fire escape out here. Oh, Ooh, okay. It. That counts. Get to it on the side of the building, and I kind of zip tied it down against the side of the building because I was like, hey, maybe don't let my internet cable just fly all over the place. So your fire escapes, uh, do you have to lower the ladder and then you pull it back up when you're done kind no, of thing? It's, no, it's, no it's, it's just permanently in place. Okay. It's probably, I don't know, it's probably like 20 rungs or something. Sure. Yeah, like a, like a, you had to climb a full story, basically. Yeah, full story off the ground. Um, you might be able to go make some stuff before you <laughs> leave, but you're probably fine. But you might you might be at the point where you can craft better weapons and armor. Okay. I'm not in like a giant rush for that. I just kind of want to see where they want me to go next. Do I need to scan these planets now or should I come out and do that later? <laughs> uh, I think the, the non-story ones, I think, are just for resources mainly. Okay. I mean, should I just bother doing it while I'm here? Oh, you want to do uh, it? Just do it. I know you want to hey, do man. it. You want to you get your scan on? I'm not here to go flirt with around. these planets. I just want to see what they got. Look, I am a fellow scanner. I get it. A scanning appreciator. Okay. Just say I just want to say I touched all the planets, you know? Uh-huh. No, I got it. I got it. Look, it's, got Pele. Big, it's got a big exclamation point on it. I can't believe this animation even exists. I know you can skip it. I just can't believe mm -hmm. it. Again, much. it was so much so much worse at launch. <laughs> when you couldn't skip it. I cannot believe I played 85 hours of this game. It's a lot of hours. I had to, I dude. I could not, not stop. Do that. I was so. I mean, I like such was my love for Mass Effect that I felt I had to do it. Beep, boop, beep, beep, beep. Got a hundred percent the system. Just got to do it. Ooh. Ooh. Fire probe. What do we got here? We probe it. Primitive. Satellite need detected. To be, gotta be reading these descriptions more. Okay. Got, got some it. data from that. There was like a ton of neat little ambient storytelling in the planet descriptions in the in the original games, right? Yes, there was. At like, least in I, I one remember, and two, there definitely was. I, I just, I just remember there being a ton of like interesting little like paragraph long sci-fi scenarios. I don't think they've got a ton of that in this. No, it seems to be a lot of very like here's your it's scientific data. Yeah. Probing. Probes launched. Tracking a huge. Oh yeah, deposit. give me that beryllium. Huge mineral deposit. Yay. All right, we did it. The system is clean. <laughs> oh, yeah, look at that nice 100%. Can't beat that. Mm -hmm. I've heard. Not with, not with a stick. Wingy. Familiar your territory. The Nexus has been here for months. Still not enough time to survey it all. Oh. Anomaly on sensors. Oh yeah. I kind of, I kind of like their low key exploring the galaxy theme here, though. You know. Hmm. Mm hmm. Like, it, it is that theme, but just barely. Kind of into that. All right, this Honestly, is the I thing the I music, need to go to. I think, 
I think the music is pretty good in this. It's all right. It's chill. For the, for the most yeah. part. It's got a nice stirring theme. It is in no way offensive or problematic. It's just sort of there. Anomaly on sensors. Extremely hot world. Very volcanic. Very evil. I found something. A volcano on a volcanic <laughs> planet, really? Huh. <laughs> Good use of a probe. I was like joking, but that actually is it. It's just you found a volcano on an entirely volcanic planet. What are AVP cryo deployment perks? I don't know what any of those words are. I mean, that's what it said over that planet. That's what you're going to get for going there. Good lord, what is all that? Uh, a those bunch all, of side oh, missions. Those are, those, are, those are side quests, yes. Such oh. as monkeys in space. Mm -hmm. have, you picked all the, have you picked all of those up already? Or are those available? I, I wonder. Some of them I have. The first murderer I definitely have. Oh, no, I don't think you have all those because, like, that track mission, I, that might be his loyalty mission. Huh. Hmm. That's weird. It's a weird thing. Maybe to they're just telling you that they're available now. It's like kind of cool, actually. Like, it's not it's the not worst unhelpful. thing to be like. Not the worst thing to be just like, hey, look at all these quests <laughs> you could be doing. This game has so many quests. I'm getting that. Like, dude, you have not even seen the full breadth of an open world in this yet. So many quests. Of course, I guess you guys played Dragon Dragon Mage Inquisition, right? I have played it, yeah. I, I didn't finish I it. Is, yeah, I didn't play much of that. I, I I gather it is pretty similar to how that game worked. I got burnt out on it. Yeah, same. I never left Pathfinder the Hinterlands, I don't think. We're settling Eos. We thought that before. But Eos is different now, right? Pathfinder. I right? have a name. Right, settle down. Give him space. <laughs> Lieutenant Syax, Kendros' aide. They all wanted to see you. Real hope again. It's, it's a good a day to party. Well. Relax, Lieutenant. If there was ever a day to pop some champagne? Certainly. The initiative's finally back on track. <laughs> Professor uh, what is Derek, the... Oh! Right? Oh! What, what is what with the camera angle? That, angle? Vault angle. Unprecedented Pathfinder. that was something. What? What? Ooh. With new talent <laughs> uh, waking up, we'll unravel those mysteries. Walk, walk right <laughs> in and out of frame. Will benefit. <laughs> August Bradley will oversee that. He's the new man. One less than perfect Bradley. shot. I know him. Seems like a good man. Well, what are you waiting for? There's a new world out there. Thank you, Ryder. All right. Yeah, I did that. Me. I'm the Pathfinder. <laughs> it's me. What is what is Mass Effect? What what's their space drug? I, I know they have one, but I can't remember. Oh gosh. Um. A chat with them. <laughs> That's I just typed the word Mass Effect drugs into Google. Red mm -hmm. sand? Red sand, yeah. There. I think red sand is the one that the mercs run, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's correct. Welcome to the Cultway Galaxy. Yeah, not the worst, uh, not the worst name for a fake space drug. It's pretty good. I just found a picture from a comic book of a dude doing job? a line of red sand. I was a sociologist <laughs> nice. in the Milky Way. It appears well, to levitate right into your nose. Study, <laughs> there was nothing new I could add. So when I heard about the initiative, I signed up right away. How's your back? The idea of meeting new people, your back looks like seeing how they've evolved, adapted to life's challenges. I couldn't resist. <laughs> I can't turn all the way here? around. The cultural center is a place where wanna, new races you want to fix met what's happening over here? <laughs> no. They can learn more about the Milky Way species while we foster an air of cooperation and understanding. We're just getting everything ready. Hopefully- Just having this casual conversation while visitors. this electrical outlet <laughs> explodes. Have you heard anything about the cat? Unfortunately, yes. Now, that's a species we won't be inviting here anytime soon. Mm. I'd hoped our encounters would be peaceful, but I suppose that was too much to ask. Goodbye. Thanks. Of course, our hope is that you'll make friends in the cluster and send them our way. And when you have a second, check back with me on a favor <laughs> I'd like to ask. Okay. 
I, Ask me a okay. favor. I'm right Pathfinder, here. Pathfinder, do you have a moment? <laughs> we uh, need to explain you. Explain me? Our new VI over there is meant to solve the role of our Pathfinders. <laughs> But it just locked all its settings. Wait, the are you locked into this? You can't move, right? Yes, I can't move. <laughs> Hang on. Okay. It, I. <laughs> just wait, say something. Thanks. Oh. <laughs> She's, She's all very way over there. <laughs> very rude to just walk away and make the conversation. So, wait, which VI am I talking to? This one? Hello there, neighbor. I'm Jan Garson. Founder of the Andromeda Initiative. I thought you might like to hear more about our plans. Tell me more. <laughs> Why are okay. the recordings and settings with this level of technology <laughs> also <laughs> always so terrible? Our founders have done their job and made new friends in the galaxy. Welcome to the Nexus. But I want to put your mind at ease. Seeing our arms arrive in your neighborhood probably raised. She died, right? She was like on a thing that yes. exploded or something, like one of the ships that Ax didn't make it. What is with her what neck? What are you planning to do in this galaxy? <laughs> uh, yeah, like some kind of accident as the arcs arrived or something like that. Or when they hit the, um, what, are the what are the space brambles called? Hmm. We're pilgrims who simply want to live in peace. We're eager to learn about new cultures, new ideas, and share our own with you. But we understand trust needs to be earned, no matter what galaxy you're in. And the initiative looks forward to doing <laughs> Intense. Job. Why did you leave the Milky Way? I get that question a lot. Many of us have a deep curiosity that needs to know what else is out there. Our own Milky Way is just one tiny speck in a universe full of mysteries. And speaking for myself, the thought of exploring those mysteries in Andromeda was I have bad news about how that turned out for you. Goodbye. Thank you for taking the time to listen. On behalf of my fellow Milky Way travelers, we couldn't be more excited about what the future holds for all of us. Ah! <laughs> I'm very bored here. Hello again. I welcome you to the culture Thanks. Center. Of course. All right, what was the thing she told me to do? I, I don't know. You are looking at an image of the Milky Way. The original oh, God, no, I'm not doing that right now. All right, let me look at the journal. By talking to this VI, you accept all cookies. Is that okay? Andromeda Customs. viability points. There you go. I'm sure, those are good for something. <laughs> yeah. I think that that's how you level up the Nexus, actually. This might be the tutorial for leveling up the Nexus and doing stuff okay. with that. Which I can't remember what that feeds into. I think that might let you upgrade the bases on the planets or something. Boy, there's a lot of tasks here. Yeah. <laughs> like, I, I feel like I remember the whole, like, leveling up the Nexus and settling planets and, like, making decisions about bases thing being, like, 80% of the way to being, like, kind of a really cool thing. Like, if they had had more of a strategy element to this game, like, base building type stuff, that could have been neat. Oh, look at all these VIs. I'm just going to go to wherever there is a thing on my map and then I'll do it. Seem reasonable? Like this guy. Yeah. This guy. Sure Here we go. I to school for this. Thanks for nothing. Education. Uh, the Iridium in the chat says you should talk to the Pathfinder VI. I can't for the life of okay. me find the course. Not sure which one that is. Oh, whoa. You, I meant it is down now. there. Hey, sorry. Please ignore me. You've got way there more like things to do. Tons of VIs in that, um, that's a fact, but if like I have in that, um, oh, oh, yeah, okay, that's yeah. probably one of those. There's a power short here, we could scan the area. Scan, I'm scanning too. Scan stuff, get XP. These power outages make no sense. <laughs> mm. Scan down, maybe? Are you looking for like some kind of wire or something? I'm looking. Hmm. Not seeing I like anything. The, uh, yeah, I for for select that task, it might, might give you a hint. In the journal? Yeah. Or not? Where is that? Where do they put those? There we go. Additional uh, tasks. Which one is this? A 
Aha. Broken wires. Oh, it's multiple oh. points of failure. Oh yeah, this this one's all over the place. Mm. All right, so I just need to scan multiple things that are broken. Oh, like that desk back at the uh, the VI room where the woman was. Remember, it was her on fire desk? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And then I'll talk to that VI. Scan to assess the nature what? of the damage. Yeah. Your desk is broken. Did it. Okay then. I got all these VIs. We hope you'll enjoy learning about the rich diversity. Sorry, VI. Broken VI. Pathfinder VI. Mm -hmm. Welcome to the setup of the Pathfinder Informational VI. I am programmed with all relevant data. However, you must identify which information I should prioritize. First, select your preferred voice and appearance, male or female. I'm a lady. Female, please. Very well said. Which aspect of the Pathfinder's role should be Definitely found? not first contact with new species. Because mm. that is not my forte. Let's go with exploration and discovery. Very well said. Next, should I emphasize the role of the Pathfinder team or their partner AI? I don't know what this means. It's like Sam? Like, uh, you're talking about, talking about Sam? Yeah, or the team? sure. Talk about our Sam partners. Very well said. Finally, should I provide career advice to future Pathfinder? No, we don't want any more of these. <laughs> List the former Pathfinders. Set up complete. Would you like to keep these settings? What does this sounds do? good to me? Like, what does this feed into? No idea. Ooh. Wait, what? so now there are two of them? Oh. Tell me about Pathfinders. <laughs> Tell me. How does someone usually become a Pathfinder? I know that one. <laughs> Tough job. Do Pathfinders have help? Each Pathfinder is linked to a partner AI that allows them to study the world in hours instead of months. This is weird. Okay. If you see a Pathfinder on your travels, yeah, I'll let you know if I see one. <laughs> yeah, this this is a little bit odd. Can you, can you talk to the Krogan VI? I, I kind of want to hear what a Krogan VI would have to say. Don't sure. Is he gonna cuss at me? Back, wait, 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 wait. Go back and look at that Pathfinder view. That thing, like, <laughs> stepping off the platform. What is it doing? Yes, it is. <laughs> it's a little okay. trouble. I want Let's to say. live. I want to be hey, at least. But, hey, yeah. Hey, look, at least, at least the IK on the leg works. Mm. Hi there. Thanks for stopping by. I'm a Krogan. <laughs> Hi, I'm a Krogan. Hi, Krogan. Okay. Of course you are. We may look scary. But don't let that worry you. It comes from living on a harsh world. We're a species that knows how to thrive, even under the worst conditions. Where do you come from? An ugly rock called Tichanka. No sense lying. It's not a planet most people want to visit. We had predators, nasty weather, and not much else. But it gave us our identity. You sure you don't want to do another take on this one? <laughs> Everything about us is built for survival. How many species do you know that have a pair of spare lungs just in case? Or four testicles? <laughs> really just slid that one in there. <laughs> Colorful, you might say. Growing up in our neighborhood, only the toughest survived. That usually amounts to a lot of fighting. You'll hear stories, so no sense covering it up. We once had a great society, but I'm ashamed to say we squandered it. It's why a lot of broken are here in the drop of the they are the smart ones. The ones for peace and the fresh start. <laughs> uh. Thanks for chatting. We're all looking forward to meeting our new neighbors. 
God, do I have to do this? What's this gig? Alright, I guess just keep looking for things that are sparking and uh, scan them. Yeah. Scan you. There's like no, like, rogue-like element in this, right? Why would they do that whole other Pathfinder thing? It seems weird. I do not know. Unless it's just supposed to be like, ah, someday there'll be other Pathfinders, or they, the other ships had Pathfinders. Alec Ryder was killed after touching down on Habitat 7 in the Ericsson system. Ryder's daughter has reportedly replaced him as Pathfinder. I have a name! Taking command of the Tempest ongoing search for a home in Andromeda. This is HNS. <laughs> Literally the default name. Someone should have recorded something for it. Mm -hmm. How are we doing up here? Everyone operating all right? Everything take good? A, take a photo next to this desert. Whoa. You doing all right? Whoa. I'm ready for anything. Oh, my legs. Just working on your knees. Stretch it out. Carrie. Pathfinder, do you have Whoop. sure no way? Right, isn't it? Carrie Tavessa, freelance vid maker. This is Hakim, my producer. I could use your help. What are you looking for? Director Tans asked for an uplifting documentary on the initiative. Translation, paint rainbows over our problems. But our problems are history. People deserve the truth, not propaganda. You're passionate about no, this. You're, uh, nice to see someone so devoted to her work. That's kind. Sometimes the camera makes people shy away from me. That's a shame. <laughs> so I'm just making this I maximally mean. uncomfortable truth, out of the game. I mean, someone needs to record the history we're making. Maybe a crisis is the time for hope rather than hard truths. That was Tan's angle. But if we pretend everything's fine, who does that truly serve? The heart of my documentary will be an interview series. I was hoping you'd take part. Is the camera the on her chest? Is that what that's story, supposed to be? The convenient fairy tale mm, town's looking yeah, for. it looks like it yeah, could it be. Looks, it, it does look like it, yeah. So you'd just be staring at somebody's, like, chest you don't mind while you're... On the okay. Well, it's kind pose. of pointed up a little what bit. What would he do? Pull funding Don't look at the have. camera, look up here. I'm game if you are. Eyes up here. <laughs> okay, interview away. Let's start at home. 14 months and the Nexus still isn't finished. Arcs are missing, we have people in exile. By any standard, this wasn't the plan. Our leadership describes these as anticipated issues. Would you agree? <clears throat> we still have to fix them. Everyone, leaders included, needs to pitch in. Let's be honest about these challenges and how we're going to face them. Nice. Won't make you popular with the leaders, <coughs> but it's good to hear. Bandwidth means I'm transmitting in short bursts, so that's all for now. But you can bet I'll have more questions later. This was... More fun than I expected. I literally said one thing. You were great. <laughs> I have a very small SD card. Um, I, apparently, this is a short documentary. <laughs> Pathfinder. Yeah. Hello, Director Tan is expecting you. Last time I was here, this was a storage closet. Pathfinder Hall just needed a Pathfinder to open. I don't like that voice. It seems very weird weapon. coming out of that solarium. Hydroponics is only a partial capacity. Not good enough. We don't have enough people. My workers need a break, Tan. I sympathize, but not until our survival is no longer at risk. Now please excuse me while I meet with our Pathfinder. Hey, Ryder. Addison hey. told me about the outpost. Hey! The <laughs> Let's hold off on the celebration. We haven't found home yet. Oh, there's no need for modesty. Success affords leverage over those who doubted you. And you're my best friend. A patron. One who shares your vision of a prosperous future. Bitch, you don't know me. <laughs> Due respect, Director Tan. Boy. You don't know me. Oh, I think I do. Your ingenuity speaks for itself, Ryder. Deciphering the vault, alien terraforming. It's not how we imagined all this, but a good... Pathfinder improvises. And a great one hangs it on the wall. 
Ta da! Ta da! Ta da! Okay, you found my Yours photo bucket account. Great. To grace Pathfinder Hall. You're a symbol now, Ryder. A reason for people to believe. I'm just getting started. <laughs> I Me. plan on doing a lot more than that. That's the confidence we need. Take charge and ignore your critics. Careful. You'll end up adopting you, Ryder. Ah, my staff. Colleagues, you wouldn't be looking to cut us out, would you, Tan? I remind you, I am the director of the initiative. Acting director. This isn't the time for arguing over who gets to be mm -hmm. king. Too much is at stake. We should be cooperating. That's what I've been saying since we <laughs> are people floating up and down. I look down forward to winning our Pathfinder support. I have concerns about your decision on Eos Rider. An outpost full of scientists won't do as much good if the Ket attack. Bunch of damn but it will help support the Nexus. <laughs> mm -hmm. Improved research could help feed our people. And we could argue about it all day long, as we always do. The decision was made. Now we move on. What is your plan for moving on, Ryder? We have a lead on the terraforming network. I don't think I, I ever noticed how many into the joints Salarian has. Mm -hmm. right. The other golden it's worlds are where they should be. This could get us closer to them. Careful. The Ket are scouring the cluster for remnant technology. You'll end up in a fight for sure. You might also run into exiles. They didn't leave the Nexus on good terms. And we still need more outposts. They're important to expanding the station. Though with Ark still missing, this could be a chance for Ryder to search for them. Yes, I think that's best. You have my permission. I wasn't really asking for it. Of course. Yeah. I support that kind of enthusiasm. Yeah. <laughs> right. Eat shit, Tan. We're gonna go get her. Level up your sass. Ryder, this is Harry, back on the Ark. Go ahead. We may have found a way to talk to your I wonder how Camille Monciani looks back on this game now. <laughs> Will do. Actually, I mean, I'm going to guess that he doesn't. I probably like looks at it, a car or something and is like, yep. I was like, that was a pretty good one for this. Yeah, All these squad skills. Volvo. That, that, re that remodeled a bathroom. Yeah, ex exactly. Yeah, you got to get that blood rage up. You just have everybody now? Oh, maybe not. I know actually there is one party member you haven't met yet. But I guess you've got everybody else now. Really get that blood rage going. Haughty Fish in our chat says, I remember him saying that he was too scared to play it because he was worried he messed up. Huh. Interesting. I don't think he's the problem with this game. So how many squad members are there? Because I've got five now. <laughs> there's there's one more. Hmm. Okay. I look forward to finding out who that is. I don't really Vantra. remember who I, who I rolled with the most. So far, I've only really done Liam and Cora, right? Like, PB was just there hanging yeah, out. I think that's right. Like, what are the... What are the archetypes? Before anyone asks, like, I'm not paying that much attention to what I'm upgrading. I'm just upgrading everything. <laughs> just why not? <laughs> well, let's see. What are the archetypes? I think Fetcher is, like, kind of a shooty combat type. Mm-hmm. All right. Cora is super biotic. Um, Liam a soldier? Liam is pretty soldierish. Base cop. Where's your uh, well? I mean, they kind of have classes. They kind of have classes there when you hover over them. Yeah. Let's see. We got a uh, biotic commando level seven, drifter mercenary. Drifter mercenary. <laughs> okay. Veteran warrior. Okay. PB might be PB might be stealthish. Rogue academic. Okay. Huh. Crisis specialist. These mean nothing to me. Where's like the engineer? Yeah, me too. Do you still need to meet your engineer, your uh, your tech? Distinctly possible. I'm a oh, yeah, let's get, them, let's get them team shields up. I'll save that last point for later. Path 
Pathfinder. Let's keep one in the chamber. Contact Director Addison as soon as possible. Right. She had something that could help with our job. Hey, you like talking to bureaucrats? Hey, hey how'd you get here? Yeah, probably the same way I did. The elevator. Maintenance crews oh, hang on. And jump over it. Good. Do it. Yep. Nice. Yes. There you go. Literally no reason for it. Love it. You're a woman of action. Yep. Mm -hmm. You don't do things the easy way. What's up? Is your computer broken? I need to scan it if it's broken. So I guess I can talk to my brother now if I want to. Yeah, somehow they said. I guess I'll talk to Director Addison while I'm here, but. No, it isn't what we wanted, but what choice do we have? How the hell should I know? Who are you talking to? You've shaken things up, Pathfinder. My department actually has colonial affairs to direct. And you have new tools to help grow the initiative. AVP, ready for spending. I'll do the exploring. Don't you have someone else to track the numbers? Get off your perch. This is where numbers become lives. What? You and your team are out there making Andromeda viable. That empowers all of us. Hit a threshold. A new cryo group can be brought out. Is that a mechanic? Want more focus on research, like yeah. on Prodromos? That's your call. Brecca will introduce the interface and handle minutia. All you need to do is decide what. Yeah, this is that like means. almost base building no aspect pressure. that I was talking about earlier. But you can unfreeze people if you like, if something, if you level up your tier enough. Yeah, I think it's. It might be like every time you level up the Nexus, they unlock more colonists that gives you more stuff to work with. Yeah, build more houses to up your population cap. C six three Galati. Your first task is to decide irrevocably the course of every life in the initiative. Oh. <laughs> You're kidding? Yes, of course. But now you respect what we're doing. Andromeda viability and the Nexus thresholds are your tools, your reward, and our future. How can I help? Hmm. Hmm. What's the rundown on AVP? Much of the preparation in the Milky Way was determining how to measure success. Thresholds are about capacity, but this is about cost, what we can actually afford to support. Points aren't the most elegant system, but it makes it clear. The more you earn, the more we can deploy. <laughs> we gamified it. Mm -hmm. How are you measuring thresholds? It's based on resource estimates and the general stability, a metric of acceptable scope and risk. The more you achieve, the greater capacity we can accommodate, the more the initiative can do for you. Simplest explanation? The more you do, the more room we have to grow. Okay. So I decide what groups to wake up. Won't everyone be out eventually? Absolutely. But there's an order to things. A lines of support. You can't deploy an omelette without first deploying eggs. And He's eggs wrong. won't get you steak. Except it's people and how all our lives begin. Okay, I want to wake up the steak. <laughs> all right, Brecca. Where do I start? The interface is active and will respond only to a Pathfinder. It's ready for your first selection. You may begin shaping the initiative at your leisure. Cool. Mm. Let's shape the initiative, boys. Space all pods. Ooh, one cryopod points available. Military pod. Commerce. So, yeah. Well, so what we got here? <laughs> Hold on. No, no one's had brown up. Uh, okay. It's okay. fine. Science? Finances? Un unfreeze Jeff Bezos. <laughs> Get him out there. I came all this way. Oh, I wonder if this is just like, oh, you get more resources for scanning things now and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. That might be what this is. So, I don't know. What do you think? I mean, it, it'll, I think it'll tell you if you button in. I don't, I don't think you're making the choice right now. Yeah. Oh, right. Yes. I remember this now. I think I, I, I followed my general rule of always get the thing that generates more experience points faster. Mm -hmm. uh, you can check the others and see what they've got. But but this lab technician seems like it might be a good idea. That's, that is almost certainly the thing to go for. <laughs> okay. And then I'll just take a look at this one. Credits. 
gray market. Mm hmm. Better prices on the gray market. Okay, yeah, these are all extremely gamey modifiers on. Yeah. Lab technicians, it stuff. is. What a weird thing. Oh, you, you have to collect also. Yeah, you got I it. just did. Sick. It is I did it. I shaped the initiative. <laughs> I rule. Pathfinder, AVP leveling continues as per your directions. And Alien course, versus Predator? The interface mm -hmm. remains accessible for any future adjustments. Sweet protocol and process. Now we are living. Tell me your story. <laughs> Why'd you join the initiative? I was a teacher. A good life. I could see the positives and negatives right through to the end. You did the math and it said come to Andromeda? <laughs> no. I just didn't like being able to see the end. Here, I don't have a clue what tomorrow will bring. It feels more like living. Yeah, I can see that. Wait, no. I... Ah! I don't know what I just did. <laughs> Somehow I got out of that yeah, conversation. Yeah, What's your take on the state of the initiative? Please consult the AVP interface. It has a thorough breakdown of your progress. Uh -oh. And your personal opinion? Your progress thrills me. Make my job obsolete, Pathfinder. I dare That's you. a challenge I'm willing to take. <laughs> I have a specific person I want brought out of cryo. Name and designation if available. That's it? You'll just do it? Nowhere in my job description does it say, argue with the Pathfinder. Oh, I like this. That said, I record all interactions. If something you ask for causes trouble, there will be no doubt that you're Always keep a paper trail. Smart. Hmm? Sure, why Wait. not? Let's keep Wait, this between that? us. Here's the info. I don't remember. Deployment will begin shortly. Is there anything else, Pat? Uh, okay. Sure. Another time. That was probably something that happened last That's time. By somebody's Like that might have been a setup. Family member side or quest. something? Yeah, side quest yeah. or something. Anything else to say to this lady? That I'll wasn't the out. person from the shuttle, right? Ooh. That was like trying to. That was I like I can remember. get them out. How are we doing on the viability front? Struggling. Need I remind you that viability isn't abstract? It's lives, our foothold. <laughs> yeah, get yeah, very dramatic. <laughs> Pathfind, we're dying. I have info on a specific sleeper I'd like brought out of cryo. I want to avoid that entirely, for reasons. Reasons. Helpful. That's it. Look. You're the Pathfinder. If you've a request for your extended team, that's a request you can I make. don't want to touch this Access shit. Access <laughs> the Keeper records through Brecker's console. It's none of my business. Until you make it a problem for me. Understood? Oh, I'm yeah. going to make all kinds of problems for you. Are you flirting with me? Is this your way of flirting? I need to know. You don't know. No, not her. What do you no. mean? Whoa, I'm in trouble with those oh, steps, huh? You kind of missed one there. <laughs> All right, let's take a look at the map here. You gotta talk to your brother at some point, right? Before this is done, I want to see. That's kind of what I was gonna go try and do. Okay. What up, what up, Scott? Ooh. Is it like that? Uh... Pathfinder, to cover their tracks, the saboteur is overloading power to this panel <gasps> from another junction relay. Dude, you have so many side quests. It's just like you were just randomly checking off panel. objectives for different yep. tasks that we completely forgot you even have. Uh -oh, Very much so. There's a wire connected like, to that thing. Hmm. Might have to go around <laughs> up the stairs around the other side. Yeah, I think so. Guessing. Yeah. What Ooh, is we got an angry drunk in there. Yeah, this, some kind of saboteur thing. thing. I don't remember which side quest this even is. Scanning power junction relays. This panel is malfunctioning. Without more data, I cannot determine if this is a normal malfunction or sabotage. I'll just disable power to the panel until Raj can check it out. Hmm. Wait, did I lose the other thing I was working on? I, I think it went here. Any logistics updates are due within the hour. Or maybe? Hang on, let me just go back to that panel real fast. I might have just terminated here. Yeah, I think that's it. It looked like it was going into the other room, though. Oh, yeah. I, 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 I think they just no, want I you to... Right find other places on the station with the same stuff. Yeah, fair enough. Hey, Rensis. 
I hear you went down to ah, ears. the lighting on you, man. There's like a ring light on case. him. You're a liar. The Chief's Omni-Tool recorded you over the body, admitting to killing him. What? Wait, that's not... What are you trying to pull? Sam, playback. Sorry, Play it again, Sam. Friend. Got to do it. I'm not dying on this rock. Well, shit. <laughs> now you got Except me. that your shot missed. <laughs> A kept blast to the back killed Reynolds. Are you... Are you serious? I'm innocent. Oh, sick! What a stroke of luck. <laughs> yeah, oh, man. I didn't technically kill him. Overturned. The sentence thrown out. I'm going to tan, and I might have a different opinion. Oh man! You did try to cover it all up. Look, I'm sorry I lied, but if my shot missed, I'm innocent, plain and simple. We'll see about that. Now listen, I'm no fancy <laughs> big city turian over here, but ah, seems to me. Back in Space, Texas, we have a saying. Mm-hmm. Fool me once. Running to tan, running to tan! Tan! <laughs> Where is he? Oh, there he is. Do we have a law about attempted murder? Start. I meant what I said. What about planning murder? Now of hope that things will get better. Do I worry about this terraforming network? What do we really know about it? It's like nothing we've ever seen. It's clear somebody had big plans for this cluster. But who? Not sure yet. I don't know, man. It's a big universe. Did you have some other business? Director, I checked out that murder. Nilkin didn't do it, but there's proof that he meant to. This is unfortunate. We're trying to give the people a sense of stability, leadership they think they can count on. Frame him? Got We're it. setting precedent for justice here in Andromeda. Now this, a convicted murderer who didn't commit the murder. <laughs> These things are almost never black and white. I know. If we suppress the evidence and uphold the conviction, we're banishing a man for a crime he technically didn't commit. If we throw the conviction out, we're freeing a man who tried to take matters into his own hands. I mean, there's another crime we could convict him of. You guys gotta expand this. your law you book here a little bit. For the outcome. Do we still exile him for uh, murder? It's, it's, you gotta, you gotta, there's, you gotta, like, make a attempted murder as a thing, right? Like, what did you, you know what, there's only murder? And not murder. And not murder. Yeah. Which one did you do? Well, let's 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 pull the council here. Vinny, esteemed Vinny, exile you, him or release him. You can't exile him if if that's the rule. If you're gonna exile him for murdering somebody, if if he hadn't put it as fake evidence, I would have just said exile him. But since he said fake the evidence basically and uphold it, then no, you can't. You can't. Oh, he's do just that. saying release him. Councilmember yes, Brad, what do you have to say? I have to concur, I think. I think. Now, technically, I, I do I do have veto power here, but I'm going to yeah. go with you guys for releasing him. If he had just said, hey, he's a, he's a person who attempted murder, we should probably still there. exile him, then death. I would have said mm -hmm. But his shot didn't kill Reynolds. We have to let him go. You're a bottom line type of person. I hope <laughs> we don't regret it. Oh. All right, so be it. He will do community service for his role in the chaos, but he's a free man. Well, at least we'll have the sordid business behind us. That w that was a stupid quest. Yes, yes, it was. This is your place now. Everything we achieve will be seen here. Are you okay? Uh, Ooh. Wait, is that the Normandy? Oh, it might have been actually. Yeah, Normandy. It's cool. I remember that. <laughs> Good stuff. All right, let's go talk to my uh, frozen brother. <laughs> I hope it's that, uh, what is that? It's that very iconic Star Trek chair for Commander Pike. Is it Commander Pike who's in the, mm -hmm. with the little beeping? Trace the wiring to locate the panel that the saboteur used. Oh. Hmm. 
Looks like it's up there. Gosh, I could use this technology for my video setup. There we go. Scanning. This panel has been tampered with. Send the data to Raj. Yes, Pathfinder. Everything's compromised. Now, technically, the saboteur didn't sabotage this panel, but they were going Remember to. this guy? Yeah. Beep, boop, boop, beep, boop, beep, boop, this guy's beep, still beep, getting it. He's doing his thing. Rare instance, rare instance of a standing desk actually doing more harm than good. <laughs> All right, let's see. I want to go talk to my frozen brother. Where's he at? That's more of that. I mean, I guess I could scan these other things while I'm out here. I mean, you are here. I am here. There's only three more of them here. How many times have I told you this story? Is that Drax? Pathfinder. Drax? Is it Drax? It's Drax. Drax is guarding Drax. Okay. Drax. Yeah. Wait, there's a creature? Aww. Capture oh, that's it. right. Oh, that's right. Alert Professor Herrick to come secure it. I did it. <laughs> yes, there is a pet in this game. Uh, I'm a good like helper. Her... She's his niece, was it? Or yes. cousin? What? I believe How that's right. Out of those materials? I don't know. Good job on the outpost. Maybe Addison will lighten up. What do you mean? She's been pretty upset about not having an initiative outpost established yet. Understandable, if you ask me. Grand. I'm just glad Thank she's you. got work to focus on now. Nothing more for now. See you later. Later. Can you flirt with her? Not currently. Hmm. Okay, so I don't actually have to scan. I guess I need to scan this. So I'll go do that. And then I'll go find my frozen brother. I will only refer to him as my frozen brother, never as Scott. <laughs> I received the data from Sam. It really is sabotage. <laughs> Any idea as to who it might be? This person yeah. staring at you like, uh, so what, you, what, what is she doing there? <laughs> she can't believe it. Yeah, just, you see this? See that pathfinder? <laughs> you see this fucking pathfinder over here just staring at me? <laughs> well, shit. <laughs> just... Any idea where she is now? Kellis is currently working on a panel on the Hyperion. Just play deck. cool. <laughs> just look busy. Just, uh, huh. Don't look at the camera. Are we? Am I in a game? Am I in a video game right now? You filming a video game in here? So she's working on a panel in the main deck. Hmm. 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 So many icons. I guess the main deck would be back through the. This thing? Hell, Chewbacca. Is this back to your ship? Oh, the habitation deck. Cryo Bay, Docking Bay. Superintendent Cash reminds everyone. What's the main? What is considered the main deck? <laughs> I maybe you're on it. Could have been. I didn't see like a. There's so many icons piled up on that other thing. Like, I don't see anything up on here. What are you doing trying to find the Scott Sickle? Well, I was going to do that, but also, like, since I found the saboteur, I was going to maybe just, you know, swing by there oh. and, I don't know, stop yeah. all the sabotaging. What are the, uh, what does it say when you go over the icons for um, those quests? Hmm. Yeah, if you if you make the one you want to find the active one, it probably will show you. Assuming you can figure out which quest you're even doing. I don't know. I'm gonna go out of here for a second, and then I'll just go find my brother. Superintendent Cash reminds everyone all 
<laughs> Sprinting. Doing cardio. Addison, I'm freaking out. Where's the saboteur? <laughs> anyone, anyone know a saboteur? <laughs> Come around here. Pathfinder, do you have sure? Mm. Hi. The documentary is going great. Your great. comments really got people talking. Great. By the way, Tan called us in for a talk about staying on message. Is everything Tan okay? can eat my ass. <laughs> oh, fine. And much less interesting than what you've been up to. The scientists are excited about your new outpost, though there are questions about how Prodromos can survive where Sites 1 and 2 failed. My team and I surveyed Eos thoroughly and even stopped the storms. The rest is up to the outpost, but the old threats are gone. Hopefully they can handle any new ones. Facing those risks must be stressful. Oh How boy. do you relax between missions? You first. There's a lot of drinking, <laughs> followed by slightly more drinking. This is history too, these little moments between. Shots of this remnant tech, some narration, that completes an episode. Thanks oh. for stopping. Wait, so I just well, told okay. everyone I'm a raging <laughs> alcoholic. <laughs> what the hell? So you, can you go back into your task uh, task list again? We'll, we'll take another look mm -hmm. and see if we can find that. Uh, let's see. Um, okay. Path of a hero hitting rocks for science. Missing scientists. Keep going down. No, no. Yeah. Huh. Maybe it's back out one. Which one are you trying oh, to find? Oh, wait. It's, you're on the Nexus. Yeah, so maybe it's on the Nexus if you go back to the... Um, Where was it? Just, I think I thought I just saw it. Nexus. Nexus. Though. There we go. Okay. Station sabotage. Yeah. There we go. Aha. Uh -huh. Oh, that, there like... we go. Okay. Da -ha. Down. I think I'm going to have to get on the thing like I thought. Yeah. If, if you go get on the subway, I think it'll just straight up tell you which one to go to. Yeah. The problem was I think it was tracking my main objective before, so it wouldn't have told me the right place to go to. All right. Habitation deck. There we go. Oh, the main know. deck. When did it just say the, the main, main deck. deck? Authorities continue work to establish contact with our Milky Way descendants. As of now, beacons confirming arrival in Helios remain unanswered. This is Anyone the see cat. a saboteur? <laughs> Hello. Uh, Angry woman. It's you. Oh. Ooh. You. Pathfinder. You can tell she's angry. Just look how she's standing. Hmm. Is there a problem? Ready to fight. Your father is my problem. He's, He's everyone's dead. Problem. We're all paying for Alec Ryder's ego. He preyed on Jean Garson's trusting nature and bulldozed us to this godforsaken place. Why'd you come? Now she's dead, and we'll all soon follow. <laughs> That's the truth. Hey, my dad died for this dream. He was trying to fix things for all of us. Some dream. He fixed us all right. Go to hell, Pathfinder. <laughs> Damn. You're okay. so angry. Uh, That's it? Uh, lady, lady, you need a nap. <laughs> you fixed this all right. Fix this real good. There you go. You're a saboteur, aren't you? Aren't you? What do you know about saboteurs? Zara Kellis? Yes? I have evidence you've been sabotaging the Nexus. What? No, I'd never... I've been looking into this myself. I have the scans to prove it. Here, I'll transfer the scans I took to your Omnitool. Funny. Raj was investigating the same thing, and it led us to you. My scans point at Raj oh, as the Oh, God. One. <laughs> so unless someone was setting us both up, I just don't understand. The data You're ready to make another choice. Is strangely similar to Mr. Pattles. A third party seems likely. The real saboteur could be setting you both up. Because we both figured out something was going on? That would make sense. It's better than thinking Raj could have done this. But it means all the data I have is useless. <laughs> I wasted Which my I time. access to the security cams. I bet we could find something there. You stay put, so whoever did this doesn't realize we're onto them. I'll check out the security cams. Wait, I said stay put. Whoa. Whoa. There? Clip Ooh. into me. How did it go? Is it... Is it really her? Wasn't her. 
She had proof pointing at you. I figure someone's been messing with you both. Just keep a low profile and don't talk to anyone. I'm on it. We need to talk. Pathfinder? And your family. Why are you here? <laughs> Why did you join the initiative? And your family. Uh, the most I don't know who this person is. <laughs> Honestly, I wouldn't have known about this project if Nozomi hadn't reached out to me. Nozomi? Captain Dunn. Of all the captains I've piloted for, she's the best. I've always been a wanderer at heart. When she asked me to be her pilot, how could I say no to the adventure of a lifetime? How did you wind up with the worst what about your glass? Family? Everybody else I can know, see right? through theirs. My parents died on the Mindwar colony when it was attacked years ago. No siblings. I left some friends and distant relatives behind. But I have friends here too. I love piloting. But I like the idea of going back to my roots and farming like my parents did. Someday. What am I going to do with this information? Who are you? <laughs> How do you feel about all this now that we're here? Hopeful. I know it's a rose-colored outlook, but someone's got to keep the positivity coming, right? That's Talk right. to you to later, now. whoever See you, later. you are. Talk to you later. Bye. Bye. To the security cams. Uh. We have to go back on the train. Oh come on! Of course I do. Of course I do. What did you? What do you think this was? What? Mm -hmm. what kind of game do you think we're playing here, man? Hey, this had to run on an Xbox One, okay? Pathfinder has died. It could only hold so much in memory. Still after touching down on Habitat Seven in the Ericsson system, Ryder's daughter has reportedly replaced him as Pathfinder, taking command of the Tempest and the ongoing search for a home in Andromeda. This is HNS. Okay. Oh, this file is useless. Let's check another. Okay. Uh, security oh, security footage just, too. Yeah, right. yeah, it changed. Yeah. Top. And another scrambled file. Oh my god. Okay. Seems unlikely. Let's check another. Yes, let's. <laughs> Any this other thoughts about the crew? Corrupted. Definitely not a coincidence. You need pretty high clearance to mess with the security camera files. Somebody working for Kandros, maybe. That is the most probable scenario. Think you can get enough out of the files to find a match using biometric scans, Sam? The files were badly scrambled, but if I combine all the available identifiers, it might work. Based on the limited information available, we are looking for a human male, assigned either to the Nexus or Hyperion. You will need to conduct scans from close proximity. Got it. All right, all right. let's go scan some dudes. <laughs> oh. He passed somebody. I did? Mm -hmm. oh, he's up there. Oh, you have a There's... waypoint? Oh, you don't yeah. have to scan everybody. Okay. Mm -hmm. Inaccurate match. All right, you're fine. Bar your cool. shortcomings. Superintendent Cash reminds everyone all power grid adjustments must be approved beforehand. Hey, you. This person is not a match. They're gonna make me get back on the tram. I just know it. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, they uh -huh. are. Hydroponics reports That's right. The sprint on. They're gonna ha let me have a sprint. I'm gonna use it. At least their shuttle's always there. Visitors herald the vortex as a sign of civility and the opposite of civility as more sleepers wake in need of a drink. This is H and S. This person is not a man. Uh, mm -hmm. That guy. It's your brother. Oh no! Maybe is this guy tampering with this panel? I don't know. Hmm. Scan results show a partial positive. Target is most likely suspect. Fucking Dale. Oh, Who is he? Oh, Dale. Dale Atkins reports to Kandros' department. Assigned to station security. What you doing, sabotaging? Why'd Dale you do it, Dale? Atkins, right? We need to talk. Look, not to be rude, but I have work to do. 
Oh, is that what you call it? Is that it? what sabotage is called these days? Work? You're pretty arrogant for the new kid. You don't even know what's been going on. Proof says you've been up to no good. Figures. Screw this. Screw <laughs> all you hypocrites on this station. I'm going home! You weren't here when they kicked out our loved ones. Mutiny? We just wanted answers. My sister is out there. I don't even know if she's alive or... I'm sorry for what happened, but setting explosives isn't the answer. Neither was sending people into exile because they didn't agree with policy. <sighs> I don't care what you think. The mutiny leaders were right to demand to know what was going on. You could have hurt people. Killed them. Like those who got killed when the leadership had the Krogan stomp on my friends? I'm done talking. I confess, it was me. Do whatever you want. Not my call. The Nexus leaders will make that decision. That lot make a decision? That'll be the day. I'll just go walk into yeah, prison. Gonna... <laughs> uh, I'll I see myself. I didn't it's murder anybody, so I guess I'm just free to go, right? It's I forgot the one law we have is murder. Ooh, got those viability points. Uh, I think your brother's here, isn't he? If you're still trying to do that. Oh, yeah. I am trying to. I do want to do that before I forget I think, about it. I'm pretty sure that's here. There's a lot to keep track okay. of in this game. Wait, what's up with the firefighters? I don't know. I forgot Man, about that so thing many, entirely. Oh my god, this is so many quests. All right. Is he not in the cryo bay? <laughs> is that, yeah, is that not where you are? Hang on. No, no I don't think this is the cryo bay. I think you're Wait, in habitat, was, aren't you? Oh, was that not it through? Yeah. I thought that was it through where you just were, but maybe not. Well, so there is a there is an option for cryo bay on the, the tram, so. Oh, okay. Yeah, cryo bay, here ah. we go. Yes, okay. Not, not up to me. Yeah, whatever. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what? Shh. Bu bureaucrats, time for court. Who's got it? I'm out of here. Once we gather a few more colonists, we'll be taking you over to the Nexus. You'll need to clear immigration. This is not good. I'll make it hey! Out exiles. I promise. Medic? Medic. Medic! Hey, talk to me. Talk to me. Hit the scan him? Talk to me. Boy, Pathfinder. Today has not been a good day. Where's that? A large shipment of medical supplies intended uh. for Prodromus was intercepted by those damned exiles. Scouts confirmed they've divvied the supplies up among their own outposts. Exiles will be exiles! <laughs> <laughs> you know. It would be nice if the people you banish would just mind their own business, but... They never do. Oh, you suck, Ryder. Thing. People you kill mind their own business. And then it's super easy to take back what they took. Maybe when you come across them assholes, you can rectify all this. Boy, some medical professional. <laughs> yeah. Wrecked them. They're near to kill them. Pathfinder, I'm Nigel McCoy. Just got out of cryo. Welcome Making to plans for Nigel. Nigel. Thank you. It's bittersweet, though. My little brother Dash was stationed on the Nexus. I just learned he died on Eos, trying to start a settlement. Uh... That's awful. I'm sorry, Nigel. Yeah. We were gonna start families out here together. I have a pendant to our father wore. Dash had its match. Will you... reunite them? Of course. In his digital journal. The best use of my time, Nigel. Yes, it is. If you could leave the pendant there. Sure. What if you were to drive to a place, walk up to a thing, and hit use and get experience points? <laughs> I could do that. Harry, what's happening with Scott? Well, we got him out of the pod. It's Doctor Harry to you. <laughs> I don't want to get your hopes up, but Sam managed to uh, find him. You might say. Well, no, you're gonna have to. I don't follow. Be more specific. Well, he's still in a coma, but he also has an implant like yours, and Sam managed to access it. He's made contact. I wouldn't think that's even possible. Believe it, lady. You and me both, but Sam, well, I guess supercomputers have a different view of things. Are we okay with They're this, Doctor? Scott's mental processes remain intact. So is he okay? You can ask him yourself. A moment while I establish a link with his implant. Proceed. 
Scott? Can you hear me? Help me for the heart of God! Is that you, Sarah? I don't understand. <laughs> it's What's terrifying. Happened? There was a problem with your stasis pod. You're in a coma. Why are you doing human. this to me? Literally, just mm -hmm. don't talk Do you to me. Understand? Wow, really? How are we talking? Space magic. Sam linked into your implant, but they say you're stable. You're safe and sound in the med bay. Guess I'll take your word for it. I can't feel Man, anything. Look at that <laughs> it sucks. It fucking you. sucks. Is that <laughs> funny? <laughs> Yeah, he's dead. He's dead. He's dead. He's dead. He's dead. A wise he's dead. Oh. I'm not sure how to say this, but he's dead. He's dead. Scott. It fucking sucks. All of this. There was an accident. It's pretty fucked up. You <laughs> accident. I gotta go now, Sam. Uh, or I gotta go. Well, fake Sam. I gotta go. It was Bye. all very sudden. Nothing anyone could do. I don't believe it. I'm sure he'd want to be here now. Oh man. Did we at least find a home? <laughs> it's even better. <laughs> it didn't work out. There's been some complications. The Golden World's. Didn't you just exactly stay in that coma for a while <laughs> until we get yeah. some stuff sorted. Hey, sorry you're in a coma, but don't worry, everything's terrible. <laughs> Why did you do this what? to me? This is. This is all wrong. Yes. This is a nightmare. Scott, it's okay. I didn't mean to. Oh, he's going into cardiac arrest. <laughs> so. I don't feel well. <laughs> so you said, said you couldn't feel anything. Yeah, if I could feel anything, That's it wouldn't be now. well. He needs to rest. Oh my God, what a nightmare. Scott. I have to go update my living will. This is like horrible. They should at least let you poke him while he's there. <laughs> You should put his head on the pillow correctly, maybe. Yeah, also that. <laughs> Doc, what's the prognosis? <laughs> we shouldn't have done that. That was fucked Roger, up, that huh? that was a hell of a thing talking to your brother. Yeah, it was! <laughs> Can't mm -hmm. say into the whole salmon plant, but well, that was pretty amazing. Yeah, except for the part where he almost died. <laughs> that was kind of weird. I don't know. The whole thing was strange. I know what you mean, but everything seems weird at first. There was a time when my profession thought germs were a crazy idea. It just takes getting used to. No. And if it can help my patients, I'll keep I'm not sure I mind. helped. I don't, I don't know if I did. So you and Lexi swapped jobs? You know that moment when you realize you're just getting too old? <laughs> uh. No, what's that like? <laughs> right, look who I'm talking to. Trust me, it happens. For me, it was Habitat 7. Watching you guys running around, dodging lightning and the cat, it's a young man's game. Pains me to admit it, but it's passed me by. So it made sense that Lexi and I switched places. She's younger. Well, for a sorry. They're still teenagers when they're 200. They grow up so fast. The doctor. <laughs> She'll serve the Tempest well. We'll miss you, Harry. Just make sure to raise some hell once in a while, will you? I'm living vicariously through you. <laughs> Deal. I only get to make how? bad ethical decisions based on medical practice now. How How is my brother? Yeah, how's my brother? How's Scott doing? Well, hearing that your dad's dead and the new home is a buzz, not... You're right, I should have lied to him. <laughs> Stressful. No! But I don't think there was mm. any permanent damage, not physically at least. Let's try again. How did you end up with the initiative? Well, you reach a point in life where you wonder, is that all there is? I'd accomplished everything in the Milky Way I could. This is an Alec Baldwin. The future of diminishing returns. So coming I here, someone doing a Baldwin impersonation, crisis, certainly. A chance to wake up in the morning and feel hope instead of arthritis. That's all, Harry. Thanks. Don't be a stranger. If anything changes with Scott, I'll let you know. <laughs> Bye. Anyone else in here I, I should yell at? <laughs> on here. Oh man. That Anyone is... else I can disappoint? Yeah, any other coma victims that I can yeah. coax toward death? Oh, this seems like a cool it's place okay. to be. Just vomit. Take a deep breath. Yeah, very cool. Oh, God, what's happening with your ah. neck? Oh, my God. <laughs> You're going to be okay. <laughs> <laughs> you just got a little of the cryo sickness. <laughs> can you walk around? Walk to the other side again. Walk to the other side again. Is she... Oh. <laughs> that's not right. In some ways, that's true. It's not right it's not... at all. <laughs> That's not how a neck works. Work. Oh man. 
Doc, my weird. neck hurts. <laughs> Listen, we're gonna put you in a coma, but don't worry. You're still gonna be able to hear and sense a bunch of stuff. I may have been wrong about this game. In what way? Ah, uh, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> there is a certain idiot charm to it that I do appreciate it, but I don't know if I would call it good so far. <laughs> you should go I, back you know to what? go to Nigel and just just double check with Nigel to ask him, would it have been cool if you were still kind of unconscious and we told you your brother had died? Or is that was that a mistake on my part or not? I just want to double check. It's better after you woke up. Ugh. You know what? I have to say, I think they fixed the right bugs. They fixed the game-breaking ones and left the charming <laughs> ones in. Mm, yeah. Charming ones. I think this game is better gracious. with charming bugs than it would be without them. Oh, right. I've got points. Ugh. Brad, I kind of want to know, but I, without spoiling anything, does your brother play a role in this game, or is like, is that does like your brother come in and uh, out of the story, or is he just mostly yeah, coma? You'll, okay, you'll get back to him. Yeah. Okay. I think eventually, yes. Not like a huge He's role, there. but yeah. Play. <laughs> there is yes, there is there is more family material to cover for sure. Yay. Where should we uh, go to wrap things up today? Because we're kind of oh. nearing the end here. Hmm. Think, uh, Boy, this was a, was a chatty quarters? episode. Yeah, you didn't... Uh, like, uh, kind of after last week, I think that's what we needed. What What is the next main objective? I think Let's it's... So here. I think you have multiple. I think you have different things you could be doing now. Hmm. Or maybe not. Maybe it's just this. Well, the only this is the only priority op currently. Hang on, let me read this. Discover them. Hmm. Potentially active faults. I don't remember which planet that is. Uh, you do it's have the, uh, quests to go back to, to Eos. Like some, I think those are like kind of level up the Nexus type quests. Yeah. Mm. There was also like oh. a, there was like a crafting quest as well. I think. Oh. Let's see. So I think tasks Tower are in. like super kind of crappy quests. I guess I would say. Mm. You know, like the really the, the real throwaway stuff. Like this one, it's just like, hey, go to a place in the desert and hit use and you complete the mission. Okay. But I think if you back out, there is a tier, like Helios assignments might be. Yeah, these are the ones I think that get you maybe some points on the Nexus hmm. or something okay. like that. Uh-oh. Oh, you, oh, you should that go one. get your pet. You should go get your pet. Yeah, let's do that. That's how it finish the stream. Go get the pet. This one has the module. They all have the module. <laughs> I don't know, man. The more I watch this, the more I see like the bones of a pretty okay game in here. Well, it's like you said, this game changed pretty radically, like late just, in development, didn't it? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I think they made most of the game pretty late in development. Hmm. Yeah, like. There are some ideas here, let's say, that are not so bad. The whole thing just has this extremely diluted feel to it. Mm -hmm. Here oh, yeah. we are. Yes, it is. One young pie jack. Ready it to is a middle game, huh? for sure. But just like Sam, zero teeth on everything and like Make sure our new zero consequence. To the no. Yeah. Oh. yeah. If I'm not mistaken, like very few of the dialogue options even have any real meaningful consequences or differences. Like there's, there's just no weight to anything. Yeah. Yes, that is absolutely the case. I am running to go <laughs> meet my pet monkey. Yes. Oh. Space monkey. I have to take off, otherwise I won't meet my monkey. <laughs> yeah. Why are you taking off? Is it because you went through the shuttle door or the? Yeah, I guess because I got on the ship. You know, just in case that monkey explodes when I get away from the Nexus. <laughs> All right, we're far enough no, away. No, busy. <laughs> Not Cora. Where's my monkey? Cool looking ship. A secure outpost. Finally. Monkey. Hey. Better be worth all that time Ryder put into it. Whoops. Looks like our Pijak friend got out of his cage. No pressure, right? He'll be fine. So everything we do Won't now he? Relies on uh, exercise will probably do him good. 
yeah, definitely wasn't eating through wires on the sh- on the <laughs> station. So sure, let's just let him run wherever. So whatever. This feels like a thing. Was this like a pre-order bonus or something, or am I, I reading too much into so. it? Okay. No. I think so. Definitely feels like uh, you bought this at GameStop. Population's growing it's like a pretty lousy like pre-order bonus, if so. Waiting for a home. So a pre-order Rally bonus, will have but, all the but very in take. line with the rest They'll of the be game. They'll starting crops mm-hmm. soon. Oh, we're starting some crops, huh? Uh-huh. Can't tell if they have enough mm-hmm. water or too much. I grew up on a little cargo freighter. Only saw gardens and vids, but I always loved them. I... Daydreamed about planting a big rose garden when we got here and still imagine it sometimes. Roses in Helios. Food first. <laughs> Let's get everyone fed before we start flower gardens. Fair. But everyone around here has dreams. Like I didn't for a while. A pathfinder. After I left the Asari commandos, well, I didn't leave. My mentor, Nasira, said I should go. Why? The initiative would suit you better, was all she said. Being a hunter suited me fine, but she insisted. Wow, you fight side by side, then she gives you the brush off? It well, hurt. hopefully one day I can do that to you. One big kick out of the nest. By the way, Still, you're fired. That's familiar. <laughs> when your biotics are honed into huntress grade weapons, people can be weird about it. The initiative seemed better. Just didn't see how I'd fit into their brave new galaxy. I never fit anywhere before. Then I met some jerk named Ryder. Talked about traveling. <laughs> That's to my dead dad. You're like talking about. Was teaching me how to see it. <laughs> yeah. What part of that vision made you want to take the plunge? A civilization where everyone had a place, even AI, or an overpowered human biotic. You know, Your father said, you haven't I been that good in a fight, Cora. I'm now just going to say. Being welcome and making others like you welcome, too. Talking yourself up a lot. When I was 13, I could warp a steel girder. He made me wonder, what if someone had told me, that's okay? He gave you a dream to work toward. He was good at that. Who doesn't want to belong? Especially somewhere like the Initiative. So I gave the Initiative my all. Kept thinking of the niche I wanted. My rose garden. I thought I knew what I was going to be. This is about not taking over as Pathfinder. <laughs> I didn't think it would still sting. Nasira, your father, even uh, my parents. They leave, I'm left without answers. Nowhere to stand. Move on. Move on. <laughs> move on, Cora. It sucks, but it happened. <laughs> we need your mind on the mission. Always is. But I'm human too. No nope. time to find a way. Get your shit together, Cora. Mm-hmm. And if that remnant tech pays off, maybe someday I'll have roses too. All right, I'm going to my room. Yeah, hope you find your. What did she say? It wasn't niche. Not my niche. Hope you find, hope you find your niche. Hey, what's up, Jack? Drax, all right. I hear this Joker beat you with poker. Drax is in the running for best party member. Hmm. I like Drax so far. Push PB off the edge. Loading, Brody. I wish. It was a close game. No, I don't. Game. I don't. I don't even really have an opinion of her yet. Don't you treat Pelisaria that way? <laughs> yeah. Forget him. Look. She just. Look at that reflection. She doesn't measure up. Hang on. Go back again. I need to. Let's do it. Hey, Wait. Wait. Where did you just? Look at that oh, reflection oh, in the. Good. Look at that. Cool. Is that good or bad? Ooh. Okay, that's that's like uh, Minecraft. Around, Somebody's playing Minecraft in the background. Around a, that's what it's reflecting. <laughs> oh. Uh. Yeah, but not you. Also, no. No, no I'm a vampire. Never me. They, they forgot to upload the high res reflection. <laughs> I'm a vampire. I'm a vampire. <laughs> Any good jokes, Sam? Pretty spacious quarters, I have to say. How are those jokes coming, Sam? Why is it so hard to find a good steak? I don't know, Sam. They've all because moved on. Medium. Oh, well done. What? Uh, mm. uh, Thanks, Sam. 
nothing uh. more. And I think that is going mm. to do it for this week's episode of Alexy Quest. Mm. Mm. Bad jokes. Boo. Well, folks, hit the wardrobe. thank you. Go, ahead, go hit the wardrobe, get into your casual wear so we can yeah. okay. sign off here. You know, you're just relaxing around the Tempest wear. Yeah, go on your giant not treadmill. Where is that right put here? Your, yeah, put on your space. Put on your space beats. Oh, have, <laughs> yeah. you used, have you used this thing? What is Planetary Hollow? Oh, this is just like stats. Okay. Yeah. Oh, hey, there's how many bases you will have, I guess. Look at you, just doing some laps in room. Run, run, sprint. That's right. This is as fast as I can go. I'm literally holding in the stick. Nice. Mm. You know, warming up, just a warm up. Mm -hmm. Well, that is going to do it. Oh, yeah, put some music on. Put some bad Mass Effect music on. Ooh, Dr. Perception. Coma Duster. Block out all the bad things you did today. Mm hmm. In my zone. Well, folks, we stopped sabotage. We uh, talked to a bunch of people. We nearly killed my brother. Uh huh. Day's mm -hmm. work for the Pathfinder. Yep. Uh, I want to remind everybody this week, I'm going to be doing a little bit of revisiting some classics from the month of February. Things like mm -hmm. Golden Ring, Horizon, possibly some new stuff, maybe a little Destiny talk, maybe a little Shadow Warrior talk on the podcast mm -hmm. this week. Uh, we're definitely playing, playing some Horizon and some Elden, so you can tune in for more of that, some updates there. We're going to have a Scrap Mechanic stream later this week. A very fun stream I'm looking forward to on Friday. Uh, with uh, uh, Alex has a copy of Spy Hunter Nowhere to Run. Yes. The, ro the Rock you presents run from Spy, Spy Hunter Nowhere to Run. That's Dwayne right. Johnson's Spy Hunter Nowhere to Run? That's right, mm -hmm. exactly. Uh, so we'll be streaming that on Friday. Uh, if you missed it last week, we had our Patron Choice stream. Archives should be up there. Uh, Metro Sim Hustle. It's done. We've done it. Right. We did it. We know what it is books. now. Yes. Uh, we'll have uh, Ramblecast and Planorama this week as well, so keep an eye out for those. And happy March. And happy yeah. March. And happy oh, March. Gosh. Holy wow. happy it March. Sure is, isn't it? It is already March. All right, everybody, take care. Thanks for supporting us. If you want to support us, you can go over to patreon.com slash nextlander make this all possible. Oh, there's a speaking of that. We're making things possible. We also have a comfy crew this week. Return of the comfy uh -huh. crew. Uh, Mary and I go through later alligator, a game I adore, uh, and Mary tries it out for the first time. You can catch that on Wednesday, noon Eastern. Uh, yeah. and check Playing that around out. this week for that's patrons right. at the appropriate yes. tier. Yes, that's right. Might, check might, that out. might try a little experiment with the recording of that. We'll see. Yes. Keep an eye out. All right, folks. Thank you very much. We're ready to go. We're going to queue up a raid. We're get ready, uh, ready to... Yes. Punch out. Actually doing it before the stream ends for once. That's right. Nice. Fingers on the button. Mm. Let's see now. Look at that shadow. Look at the shadow casting across your... Wow. Wow. All right. Look at this thing. Ready? Technology. All right. Do it. All right. See you, everybody. Thanks for watching. Bye.